when the Panzer divisions began to introduce armored artillery batteries, they required a spotting vehicle to observe and direct the fall of the shots. In the first part of the war, light observation vehicles were used by artillery forward observers to accompany tank and mechanized infantry units. The first such vehicle was the Sonderkraftfahrzeug or Special Purpose Vehicle 253. The appearance was similar to the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 250, but this variant was fully enclosed. The closed roof is clearly visible from this perspective. The round flat cupola was rotatable. An additional rectangular hatch was arranged behind it. 285 such vehicles were built between 1940 and 1941. In the second part of the war, modified tanks were used in this role. These vehicles were called Panzerbeobachtungswagen or Armored Observation Vehicle and they were equipped the Vespe and Hammel batteries. The first vehicles were produced using the early marks of the Panzer III tank as these were beginning to be phased out. The Panzerbeobachtungswagen III was only armed with a single machine gun in which to save room for communications equipment and mounted a dummy gun barrel. 262 were converted to this role. The main gun had been removed and replaced by a dummy barrel and the new mantlet was fitted with a single machine gun. These were in fact interim vehicles and plans were to be made to issue a specially designed armored vehicle dedicated for only this role. The Panzerbeobachtungswagen III was issued to armored artillery batteries and served until the end of the war. The Panzer IV was chosen to replace the Panzer III as the next Panzerbeobachtungswagen. The supplies of Panzer III were beginning to run out, so 90 Panzer IV tanks were converted for this role. They were issued to Hamel batteries for the duration of the war. War on them began in September 1943 and it was hoped that production would begin in April 1944. The Panzerbeobachtungswagen IV featured the same commander's cupola as the Stug III with seven periscopes instead of the vision slits of the normal Panzer. The SF-14 scissor periscope was fitted, which could be raised without opening the cupola. The vehicle was also equipped with artillery plotting equipment and three radio sets. To make space for this, the turret machine gun was removed. The Panzerbeobachtungswagen IV was also issued to the Vespe and Hammel batteries. And the last observation tank, the Panzerbeobachtungswagen Panther was only built in small numbers. Rheinmetall was awarded to development contract in 1942 and one of its proposals was to replace the original 7.5 cm armament with a 5 cm gun and a machine gun in a Topfblende or pot mantlet in place of the usual arrangement. The design included a built-in range finder, an observation periscope mounted in the turret roof, and a spotting periscope. The commander's cupola was also an interim design featuring seven periscopes. Some 40 such vehicles were converted from regular Panther tanks in late 1944, early 1945. The conversion entailed removing the main 7.5 cm armament and planting over the front of the turret. On this plate was mounted a dummy wooden gun and mountlet in the center and to the right a ball mounted MG-34 machine gun. The dummy turret front plate, mountlet and gun are newly tooled. 
the turret roof was being modified with new hatch and ventilators too, giving it a distinctive look. Another characteristic of the Panzerbeobachtungs Panther was a star antenna on the rear drag.